Good day, Grade Twelves. My name is Karen Matsukere. I'm the author and publisher of the Distinction Bound Student Textbooks. Uh, grab your copy. Um, they we have Economics and Business Studies, Grade Ten to Twelve. They come in complete and no answers version. Okay, in this video, I'm going to talk about leakages and injections. Okay, something that is uh, very important when we are doing circular flow. Okay, so leakages we have three. Injections we have three. Now, what are our leakages? Okay. If we look at our circular flow model, we try to look at where, as money circulates, where does it become less? Like, what actions can cause whatever it is that's circulating to become less? Okay. So, first, we have tax. If you think about it, when, when a company is paying you, let's say they pay you 20000 so there's a flow of money from a business to you, which is 20,000. Now you won't get the whole 20,000 because as it comes to you, a, a, a portion of it is going to leak. And uh, in other words, it's going to reduce the 20,000 to make it uh, uh, maybe 18,000 or 16, whatever the, the, the case may be. So taxes will make disposable income to be lower than what the company is paying you. So yes, we know the difference between gross income and net income. So tax is a leakage. So it's taxes. Number two, if you get 18,000 instead of 20, the 2,000 is the leakage, right? Uh, so you get 18. Now, if you don't spend the whole 18 on whatever it is that you want, and then you save 2,000, that 2000 is a leakage because now the 18 becomes a 16 and now you're only going to spend 16,000. So from the whole 20,000 that you got, you, you are only going to spend 16 because 4,000 has leaked. 2000 leaked in form of a tax. The other 2000 leaked in form of savings. Okay. The other leakage is now you want to spend the money in South Africa then you end up not spending all of it in South Africa. You end up importing some goods for 2000 So what you are going to spend locally is 14000 So your money has gone from twenty to 14000 So companies paid you twenty, and 6000 leaked in form of a tax, in form of savings, and in form of uh, imports because you bought things from outside the country. So we have those as our three leakages. Then we have the other three leakages. No, I'm saying leakages. Now the, our injections. When is it that money becomes more? Well, uh, whatever it is that's circulating in the economy, government then decides to inject money into the economy. Uh, that we call it G, government spending. Remember the model equation that I talked about in the previous lesson, in the previous video? Uh, the model equation was C plus G plus I plus X minus M. The G was government spending. So that government spending is an injection because it adds money into the economy. Amongst the money that is already circulating, government injects money. There's more money now in, the, in, in, in our economy. Another form of injection is investment spending by businesses. Yes, government spending is funded by taxes. Yes, we know that. Uh, even that investment spending by businesses can be funded by savings because so savings yes they are a leakage but um, invest eventually if that money that money that was saved is uh, injected back into the because it leaked out of the economy when whatever it is that you have been saving 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 then now you decide to start a business you inject the money into the economy that becomes an injection so whenever we are adding or subtracting money from the economy uh, basically it depends are we adding or subtracting or reducing whatever it is that's circulating so i said um, government spending i also mentioned uh, what do you call it um, investment spending by businesses the last one will be exports when remember i said imports are a leakage money goes out yes money also comes in as they buy our goods so when they buy our goods uh, they inject money into the south african economy so that's an injection okay so it's as simple as that so uh wh what we normally then ask in the exam is what happens uh when let's say when l 
I didn't talk about L. L, that's our leakages. When L is greater than J. In other words, when leakages are less, I said greater, when leakages are greater than injections, the economy will drop. So when what's coming out is more than what's coming in, whatever is in already goes down. Okay, simple as that. Then the opposite is true. When leakages are less than injections, in other words, when what's coming out is less than what's coming in, it increases whatever it is that's already in. By whatever it is that's already in, I'm, I'm referring to whatever it is that's circulating in our economy, uh, which can either go down in depending on our leakages or go up depending on our injections. So depending on what's more than what, the economy can either increase or decrease. So it's as simple as that. So in a nutshell, L is equal to S plus T plus M. And then J is equal to G plus I plus X. As simple as that. Follow me on TikTok as you're already doing and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much. God bless.